Okay, folks. Uh, <clears throat> every once in a while, if I get busy, the links will get. I mean, get a little old. But hopefully, that the news sc scramble and butt grab and fakes and hoax and everything that they've been pulling off. Maybe they finally realize that they're done doing that stuff. But I'll have to wait and see. But uh, I wanted to show you that. Uh, Got to keep an eye on this. A lot of people talking and chattering might might have gotten uh, this here microbes thing. Might have got that under control. What we'll to see? Got to keep a watch out for false flag going on on that possible. Uh, this one here, they jumped all over it. They're, I'll take you to a site that they got it up and going on. And as you can see, this stuff's going on here. So. Uh, it, it's not too hard for me to try to update this every once in a while. You know, I'll try to keep the leading stories up here and then get rid of the old stuff on the bottom after a while. Uh, we'll try to archive and keep it, you know, so the idea if we ever want to go looking back about something. I got blog here and everything like that you can enter. And then when it gets busy, because I know that any site I can't trust that and it would get real busy, so I do this here. Uh, once again, I might have a lot of projects I'm going to be doing this summer. It might get bottled up during the week, but usually around on a weekend or a day off, I'll probably be able to keep this pretty much updated. It's pretty easy to do. It doesn't doesn't take too much, but just keep you with uh, kind of just showing you what's hitting. That's you know not a bunch of this. Who cares about bling bling and goopy ass story about the dips dips this and stuff and start seeing how they twist. And they propagate you the news. They keep you all freaked out because look at all these news stories, you see? So they always keep a ton of stuff going on. And it's sad what ends up happening because we all know that, uh, but you know, it's you're sad when we have actual, you know, accidents, you know, like down in Texas where explosion and people actually get killed. And, uh, so we also have, you know, I always tell people, you know, spying is, there's spies out there. There's spies everywhere. So they jumped all over this. So. And basically you can pretty much, you know, all those spy movies that you watch all the time and you go, ah, and then it's not real, that's not. There is a spy world, ladies and gentlemen. So no matter what, there's stuff going on. And then they recently they're starting to say that too that whoever was part of what they caught up in Canada on the train thing, that they took a trip to Iran. So yeah. So this is up on the net now. So anyhow, and no one will have to explain anything because it's all done in the shadows. So just don't spy on America, ladies and gentlemen. That's one word of the wise. Make sure you educate your kids. Don't spy on America. So now, some we'll go off and get into space and look at our comet that we've got going on. And there you go. We know, and it'll, it'll even sink in more. Like I was trying to tell you the other day, the plot that they had going on. This thing is orbiting one of the supergiant suns somewhere way over there because basically, folks, the sun is over here to the right of Earth and Mercury and Saturn, okay? And you get nice, you see a nice magnetical there too. I'll leave this plane, we'll pop back into this, and as you can see, yep, this is more than likely Pluto, like I was saying, and the fact is we got another magnetical here. And I do understand when some people are saying, well, that could be Neptune and well, yeah, well, where's Pluto at? You see what I'm saying? That's where it's up. Uranus is in the other shot uh, when we, when I think I'll be able to go to that in a little bit. But here's the action from the 22nd as it was going up under. And like I say, see, they were getting an angle plot and showing you the factual that that comet is going around another sun way over here. Okay, this isn't the sun. And I showed you this before when they rotated the satellite on the 19th. I think it was either the third or the second month of this year on the 19th. You can look up the footage from the 19th because I've played it a lot. But the fact is that there's super giant suns over there. Okay, So I'll pop this up in size here. And we'll take a look at our comet over here. And then I also got the grays and everything like that. 
But as you can see, and then I was showing you before, that it's got a heck of a shadow up underneath it and everything like that. This damn thing was big. I mean, look at it. See how damn far away from the camera it is now? I mean, you know, from the... And it was still pretty damn big. So, there's, see, there's a massive distance from just out here that you see in front of the satellite when it first started catching it, you know. Because it hasn't gotten much. I mean, it's gotten a little smaller. But, I mean, you know, it's traveling away. But the damn thing is big. That's a big-ass comet. I mean, from that far away from the Soho camera now that you see that there, and then I'll scoot over and you can see how big Earth is. That damn thing is huge. But see, it's safe because we're hiding out in a little, and you can see some CME action coming off the sun. You see right there, you can see, I'll move up a little bit, and you can see some of the particles and stuff coming off the sun. That's solar weather up there, folks. And we'll get up even higher and you can realize that it's more than just the sun that puts these CME stuff off. See how high we are up on Earth right now? Look it up this way the heck up there. Now, the majority of it is, but there's bling bling action between the suns, you see. So I'm going to go over to, to give you, so you can see when you're looking at that, you can see, you should be able to see that CME action way the hell out in space, okay? And see how fast that travels and so forth and so on. So we'll pop over. I should have... Uh, I'll go ahead and I got this and I'll hit play. They'll come in in a second here. And as you can see, you see we're getting these huge... I don't know if I, I wasn't paying attention to dates there and I wasn't worried about too much about lining up big time on this stuff. So you get that play action there. And we like what I was saying before, I'll pop this up in size. We'll go up to like 200 real fast. The factual that we have something and way more than one because you can see the magnetical and with the CME action you can also see and you'll you know that this here okay what the hell is that because it's pretty damn good size now don't get me wrong Mercury's the size of the moon and that shouldn't be the moon not at all there that's not the moon moon's real close to earth and the same size as Mercury and it doesn't get a, a CME so the see the difference on Mercury is it does have an luminosity, but it gets statically charged from being getting thrashed by the sun. So since it's so damn much closer, so we are in a sweet spot, ladies and gentlemen. The Earth is a magnificent jewel of being in a very rare condition, temperature distance from the sun. If we were in any little different platitude of the distance from the sun, closer or farther away, we'd be screwed even higher or lower on our orbit of the sun, ladies and gentlemen. We would be totally screwed. Okay, so now, factual, you get this magnetical here on this object here that we get coming around there. That's not Mercury because you got Mercury marked right there. And you get the CME action, CME reactive flare that I was pointing to the other day. And you can go watch my other video that's up before this one. And I'll load this tomorrow, making this night late. And uh, you can see that there. And I'll pop up to 400 real fast, and you'll realize that you got stuff in our solar system, i.e., there, just above, you know, and it's way the hell out away from Earth, but it's, it's still it's in our solar system. You see, so that could, I'm not that could be Vega there, that there. But when other people have been saying that uh, Vega was like up way over to the left by the comet, forget that. Okay. So and then you get to see how up at 400 is probably good enough because if I even go up 999, it ain't going to change much different look on that. Basically getting nice that there is something up there that's doing CME action by my cursor there to the right there. So. It should be moving more in and getting more of a look at that because as you can see too that this moved around too and you can see this. So, and they are CME reactive flares and this is all electrical that you see out there in space. And it's a light curvature, it's all light curvature. Static, electrical, magnetical, radioactive, all stars are radioactive. And get pause on that and we'll pop over and we'll hit play again over here on the 23rd so this is the freshest so yeah that's where I forgot to tell you that basically we see it move in here and let me get up to 200 real fast and basically 
we get the planetoid of whatever this is up here, then you get to see how close it is. It's not really, I don't think this is an optical illusion. This is closer here to Earth than whatever, if this is Vega back here or if this is Vega up there. Uh, remember, Eris and everything is on the other side. And then, no, that should not be make make, but it could be make make. And then anybody saying that it's not make make, make make, M A K E, M A K E. That's what make make is how it is spelled. Make make. And that, you know, there's a possibility that that maybe could be Make-Make, you know. And maybe that is Vega there then. So those are the tuple objects. They don't really tell you about too much. So anyway, you can see there by my cursor, and then I'll pop real fast back to, and I'm not going to take time to edit that out, but I'll hit play on this again. Boom. And it'll pop up. Well, I can't remember what did I have. I have 400 on the other side. But we'll get up to 400 here. Then up above, and as you can see, as you were getting that CME active reactive flare there, and then I get it, and I'll pop it down to 200, and we'll pop back. And I just kind of always do the zoom in and stuff. It takes up video time and stuff like that, but that you actually realize what's going on and where things are at. So you got Earth there, and if we were getting that CME reaction there. It matches up with, and I made a mistake there, but I'm not going to take time. And then there we get our object that shows up. So I'm saying, thinking that more than likely could be make make right there. And if you're getting a good look, there's the CME reactive flare going on. Okay, and then I will pop us over to you get make make to show up, which I figured that I figured that's make make. I wouldn't bet a bunch of cash on it. But, and then that more than likely could be Vega down there. But if not, then what have we found? You see? And then what's the problem when you got something that's this big and this clear? Why doesn't NASA, they know what the heck stuff is for sure? Or what, then, then that's what the thing is, the power of sitting here and saying, well, then there's no names on the stuff yet. You see? But the factual is, there is. And why don't they just go ahead and mark the stuff? It's big enough. It's got a magnetic line on it. Just throw a mark on it. You, you take time to show people what Earth and so forth is. So go ahead and put a marker on it. Okay. So then we know our comet for damn sure since we got our angle here and it's going around. That the factual that... Uh, I'll just scoot over real fast. That we know that since it's going that away. Like I was telling everybody originally, you got to be careful because see, people could originally show stuff and go, "Hey, that's oh shit, it's going to hit Earth." You see, and it's going this. This thing's rotating. This comet, huge, because it's far away from the camera now, and it's flipping huge, and it's going around another supergiant out in space. And it, yeah, those are that, those are supergiants over there doing all that brightness. That is not absolutely not the sun that's doing all that lighting there. Okay, that's another. And basically, there is a sun right there behind Pluto, more than likely. And even if this might be Neptune's line there or whatever, doesn't magnetical or something else. And factual, we get a great look into space here. And then I'll pop down in size. And as you know, Earth is over here underneath this curtain to make sure that you can, because see, they have to curtain it. Otherwise, you get all this big brightness that would be over here right here and you get kind of it would screw up the shot of being able to isolate and get earth in that shot so you see this is there's tons of super giant stars and suns it's not the only sun so and the comet is moving away and gonna go rotate around some super giant and it might just be one of this here super giant here that it went around and that's how close it got to whatever sun that that is behind Pluto because factually Take you slide you over here, okay? Farther away shot from the 22nd. I can't remember if I was looking at the 22nd there or the 23rd. And then you got Pluto right there. And you, you can see Saturn. And yes, there is a huge CME that came off. I mean, all this CME action that we've been getting, there's still a huge amount of space weather, all that particulates and, and that wind 
from the solar out and then like that's what I try to say is the idea that it's not just the sun because you can see how huge